Hey gang, Jack Lair here. Uh, just a response to Ed's video. He asked, uh, what are the three favorite repairs slash mods that uh, you've ever done? Now the first one is one that I'm most proud of and hate the most. So it ends up, uh, because of that love-hate relationship, it ends up number three. Uh, it's this monstrosity right here. Now, if you've watched uh, my channel, you might recognize it. This is the setup that I've used to record some of the video games that I post on the channel. Uh, it had some flaws, but I said it would do it one day. Got inspired by buying the case, and then just decided to go uh, full bore from there. Made plugs to uh, plug into the TV. Got the plugs where you plug the console in up here. And in the middle, we've got all this mess. Now this is a SanDisk V-Mate. You plug the controllers or the memory cards in there. Plug both of these in. But the problem with this is that when it's recording, it blacks out the screen. So you can't like just plug it directly from video game to here to a TV. So I had to like solder a splitter, and then I've got a little portable DVD player here that I just turned to uh, a TV screen and had it go through here and do all this and I had to have the remotes and everything and as you may know lately I just picked up a, a DVD burner recorder that does the same thing as all this mess but this was put together in an afternoon and I was actually really proud of it until I sat back and realized that it was so unwieldy that no one would ever really want to use it so that's number one now on to number two, which is only slightly smaller. Number two, the Sega Game Gear. Now, why? Why am I showing you this? Because this is actually the first Game Gear I ever owned, first of all. Uh, no, that's not impressive. I actually bought it not too long ago. But I bought it, started playing it. I was like, ah, oh, it's pretty cool, whatever. And then the sound died. Then I found out that replacing capacitors wasn't too hard, so I uh, watched uh, Luke Morris do it a few times and decided to go ahead and give it a swing, and actually brought this from a virtually dead console back to being very much alive. Now since then I've kind of fallen out of favor with it because it's just, uh, that and I got a Neo Geo Pocket Color, which I prefer. Sorry, but I do. Anyways, so that's number two of my favorite mods is bringing this little guy back from the dead. Now on to number three. And welcome to number three, sort of. Now I know what you're saying, it looks just like an Xbox. And it is an Xbox. But one of the greatest things about the Xboxes, or Xboxes, Xbox, x by x well, whatever, is that they, you can mod them to the hilt. And now, uh... I've seen people do a lot more than what I do with them, but for me, a lot of the fun is just uh, upgrading them, upgrading the hard drive, uh, putting a little custom firmware on there, and then especially for, well, let me just show you. Come on. Okay, this, which I'll do here. This is why I love the Xboxes. It's because you can do, throw this on there, and you're great, you're golden, you're good. Now the other fun thing that I like is that a lot of the Xboxes, the first thing that I've noticed is that they're, they're uh, rather their DVD drives are the first things to go out. So, the good thing is, is that I have a few of them. So one of the things that you can do, if you own the legal copy, mind you, put the games on here. Now this way, what I can do is I can actually preserve the the games themselves so that they don't get scratched up uh, just by being out and being around. And the other thing that this affords me is that because this thing has a dead DVD drive, it means that I can play it straight from here and not have to worry. Also, the loading times are super fast. So here are my three favorite, just to recap. 
Number three is my game recording monstrosity case that's now been replaced and is obsolete. So I can use the parts for other stuff. The game gear that I brought back to life and the Xbox mod that just keeps on giving. Anyways, uh, Ed, excellent question, and as always, play on.